Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to you. I'm Rachel and I welcome you all to Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I'm with Julian Ranger. Julian is the executive president and founder of Digime. Now Digime has built and deployed the world's first global decentralized personal data grid. And here at Calkine, we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates all under one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock market and help you understand how you can create multiple passive income streams. Here to explain more about Digime is Engineer Julian. Welcome, Julian. Hi there. Nice to see you all this morning in the UK and uh, afternoon for you. Excellent to speak with you today. Now, our viewers are all very interested to hear more about Digimi. Could you explain how it works and where the idea came from? Sure. It's really, we're about sharing more and better personal data. And that's for new and improved services. Now, that's going to seem very strange in an era where all the talk is about restricting personal data use because of all the privacy breaches dark patterns stealing your data. But we actually need to share more if we're going to get the best from what the digital world can offer us. For example, in health, we want to move to what's called precision medicine. Medicine which is specifically tailored to me as an individual or you as an individual. And if we're going to do that, we have to share our health data since we were born, our advanced wearables, genomics, the food we buy and eat, and even social data because it's an indicator of mental state. And that is significantly more data than it's possible to share to date. And so that's what DigiMe does. We enable that sharing, but always privately, securely, and only with the consent from an individual who becomes the data owner. And so what we do is provide the ability to, for you, the individual, to get a copy of all your data, and then you can share it for these new and improved services that we're saying. So obviously, as you mentioned there, individuals and businesses are creating more and more data in this increasingly digital connected world. Julian, could you tell me about the various industries that use Digimi services? Yes, I mean, really this applies across the whole of your digital life. So your interactions in a whole sphere of things. but. Where you're seeing the leading edge, if you like, is in health, because fundamentally trying to actually use our data has always been difficult in health, making that flow through the system. And it's so much easier when it's new at the heart of that, a thing called patient centricity. And then the consumer personalization, which is in retail and in finance. Um, there's not much difference between the two when it comes to then trying to give you as an individual the right answers, but for that they need data. But if you're happy with the value exchange, then you'd be happy to share that data because you know it's only for that purpose. So those are the two leading areas, but it moves into all areas. It can be energy usage, it can be insurance, it can actually move into smart cities, IoT and things like that. But health and business and retail personalization are the two areas where you're seeing the most uptake. And then strangely enough, governments because government have a lot of interactions with you as an individual. And it's quite hard for them to flow that through the government because obviously you don't necessarily want a centralized view of you. But if you have that view, then you can share with different government departments and interact better. So you're seeing governments as well. And yes, there are many organizations that safe and secure digital life is of utmost importance, as you mentioned there. Now, your company is efficiently empowering people in this regard. How does Digimi's full data protection complaint and consent process work? So in essence, it's actually very simple. It's just putting you, the individual, at the center of your digital life. Um, so whilst it seems to all of us today that companies have a lot of data about us, Really, they've only got a very small subset, um, yet we need to share more. And there's all sorts of technical limitations which stop the sharing of that data, data stovepipes, we call them. But there are three critical things that we can sort of use to deduce where we should be going forward. First is only in the individual, only you know where all your data is, only you know what all your bank accounts are, where your health data is, what social channels you use. And then only you have a right to a full copy of your data. You've always had that right. 
and only you have unlimited usage rights to your data. So I can print off my health data, put it on the window of my car if I like, and drive around. If anybody else did that, they'd go to prison for breaching my privacy. So if you're going to aggregate data about the individual, it can only be done at the individual. And that's what we enable at DigiMe. We enable you to very simply just select the data that you want. That's then obtained from those channels directly by DigiMe to your own library. It's encrypted with a key that only you have. Then what happens is businesses come to you for the data that is better than they can get elsewhere, which is why they come to you. It's not worth their while tracking you and trying to do other things because the data is not as good, obviously not as trusted, but it actually isn't as good or as comprehensive. And so we have a full consent platform which allows a, pla a business to basically ask you for the data. If you agree the value proposition, then miracles happen and the data just flows, but you're always in control. You can turn it off, you've got a full audit log, etc. But because you are at the center, it's much, much better data, more accurate, and it's easier for people to use. So it's really just about moving you from a periphery to putting you in the center of your digital life. And you've diversified your business across a number of nations. It is natural that customer demands vary between demographics. What are the challenges you face and how do you tackle those efficiently? So actually, I'm just going to focus on one challenge, really. The biggest challenge we have is actually a lack of awareness across all the geographies. So if you look, companies are crying out for better data uh, to provide better value for customers, whatever it may be. But they don't know how easy it is to do with human centricity, this putting you at the center and what we enable. So actually just getting more and more companies, um, health services, governments to use and therefore show the benefits is what it's all about because you can't implement what you don't know about and so that's the key point and so providing that solution and awareness of it is the key because you literally as a business can start getting really really accurate data in minutes um, if you start asking the individual now the good news from an Australian point of view is that Australia is one of the leading countries and actually is taking a lead and it looks like the government is going to be doing more and more in this area. We operate in Australia with our local partner, the Australian Data Exchange, and it's really good to see that, you know, a high-tech country like Australia. And Digime has been recognized with a number of accolades, like Financial Times Europe top 100 digital companies. In your opinion, Julian, what makes Digime stand out in the market? Well, it's really um, the understanding of how to make what could be complex very simple. And that takes time. To make anything simple takes time. Um, now, that's lucky it's based upon 25 years of military internet experience that I had in helping design and bring the military internet. So a lot of those aspects have been brought forward. But it's also about understanding that the key problem is how to aggregate the data and then share it, not the privacy. Now, privacy is really, really important, uh, privacy, security, and consent. But that's something that you do when you've worked out how to bring the data together at the individual. And then, I'm not saying it comes for free, but, but properly designed because it's at the individual, you can deal with that. So it's all about how do you simply bring data together and simply make it available with privacy, security, and consent. And realizing that you have to have the individual at the heart of that is really what makes us stand out because it just simplifies the whole end-to-end -end process tremendously. And obviously during COVID-19, the pandemic, it's become clear that our society needs solutions that empower individuals and governments to do more with greater access to data, but without infringing on personal privacy and freedom. During these challenging times, what do you think the company's key strategy to empower citizens and governments has been? So you see something like the pandemic and you want to help, and it's a great example actually of where you need human-centric solutions. Uh, we did try initially to create a human-centric track and trace platform, but governments fell in love with Bluetooth solutions around the world, which really don't work. So that didn't work for us, unfortunately. But there's now a realization we need health passes to prove the tests we've had, whether that's PCR tests or at-home lateral flow tests. And those health passes, 
have to be citizen centric. They have to be there for you. Yes, for privacy, but also practically because they have to be available wherever you are. And a centralized solution doesn't work. So decentralized human centric health classes and Concentry is the solution that we have uh, put out there. Um, it's in use in various countries around the world is leading and showing through the COVID pandemic that actually human centric solutions again make things simpler and actually solve problems that we can't solve by centralized solutions. And just lastly, Gillian, do you have any expansion plans? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, this is a multi trillion dollar personal data economy out there waiting to be enabled. And us, the GME, with our Australian partner, the Australian Data Exchange, are looking to absolutely lead the charge in the area. And it's great, actually, to be a 100% ethical company solving a major problem and doing it in a way that's going to be profitable. So we are looking to go worldwide um, across all nations. That will take a few years, but not that long. Um, so we're doing our initial geographies to raise awareness and then moving out from there. But basically, everywhere in the world where an individual interacts with businesses, governments, researchers, is an opportunity for a data platform to work. And uh, who knows, I intend to fly to space in the next uh, 12 to 18 months with Virgin Galactic. So maybe we'll even take the journey up there as well, eventually. Excellent. Sounds fascinating. And it's an absolute fascinating space to be involved in. Now, with that, Julian, I will sign off for now. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you for hosting me. It's very kind of you. And you can catch this video on our websites and YouTube later today. Watch this space for more. Till then, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.